Hello, here we are again, round two of our uh, Dunlop tyre review that Ridercam TV are doing for uh, Cornwall Blood Bikes. This is bike nine, and this bike has got these tyres on it that are called Mutants. Look at these rascals. Okay, yeah, dogs barking in the background there. Don't know what's going on there. But these are on our BMW 9. I'm sorry if the wind's a bit bad. I'm trying my best to keep it out. These are on BMW 9. It's got just over 100,000 miles on it. It's a 63 plate bike. But look at these tyres. They're almost like car tyres, aren't they? And apparently they're really, really good. So um, before I crack on and explain all about it, I've got Jason here who's currently been riding this bike for us. He's just about to hand it over to somebody else. There's Jason. I hope you can see him. The sun's not shining off his head there because he's taking his hat off. Okay, Jason, you've been riding this bike. What do you think of it? You have to talk up, mate, because I'm a long way away with social distancing. Fantastic tyre. Really? Really, really good, yep. Yep, really, really sticky. Fantastic in the wet. Um, I was driving, riding the bike the other night in the near enough snow, and they never went nowhere. It was fantastic. Wow. Ails, no problem. See, what I'm going to have to do now, like, because he's broad Cornish, I'll have to translate all that for the people who live in other countries, right? He likes them. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, I'm very pleased with that. Fantastic. Cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out for a ride and I'll give you my uh, honest opinion of them. But if it's anything like uh, Mr. Jason's there, I think uh, we'll be all right. So uh, I'll speak to you when I'm riding the bike, eh? Okay, then a quick chat with uh, Mr. Jason there about uh, what his thoughts were about these moon tyres. Look at the ice on the road there, wow. Um, that's really reassuring that, isn't it? That somebody likes these tyres as much as he says. Well, how interesting that uh, he likes the tyres as much as he says there, which is, uh, it's really quite re refreshing that actually. Okay, so, mutant tyres. How do we get these put on our bikes? Well, I messaged uh, Dunlop guy called Dave and said you know we've got any tyres you want us to review for you on the blood bikes because obviously as, as a blood bike group we use we use a lot of tyres as I explained previously you know um, we have flat we have a flat it's not repaired it's thrown away and a new tyre bought so that is a massive expense for us as a blood bike group <coughs> excuse me and um, they said to us, yeah, we've got these mutants. Which is a bit of a new tyre. Would you like to have a go of them? We're trialling them on, uh, we're putting them on big bikes at the moment. So this is a BMW R1200 RTP. It's the, uh, the police paramedic spec bike. And we've got these uh, mutant tyres fitted on it. Tyre pressures are 36 and 42 or 2.5, 2.9. And as you saw in my brief um, talk around the bike before my camera died, then I had to go back to the helmet camera. Um, oops. We, um, it's a bit of a strange looking tyre because it looks like a car tyre in many ways. Now what's happened is Dunlop have taken a wet weather racing tyre, I believe, a super motor, moto uh, tire and like a touring tire and they've combined the whole three and come up with this thing called a mutant and I must admit that today the temperature is very very cold it's about two degrees at the moment just uh, just coming up to three with the sun getting warm now and uh, so it's right on the edge of where we would normally be riding and these tires are awesome I've got to be honest I, I you know, when you get on the bike straight, sometimes and you've got new tyres and you're like, oh, do I like them? Are, gonna, are they, they going to be okay? These instantly feel like I've been riding on them for a long time, confidence inspiring. And my last video I did on a, a blood bike was on the Road Smart 3s, which I really liked. 
you know what I like these better obviously I'm not sure how long how they'll do for uh, mileage because obviously we're after a bit of longevity in a tire but uh, do you know these are grip is phenomenal on them now I'm not going to be able to ride them in the rain obviously because it's a nice bright sunny day today and we're, we're due for some the next week or so for some really nice cold but dry weather so I had spoken to a couple of other guys who've ridden this bike in atrocious conditions and they really rate, rate the, uh, the grip that the bike produces when it's in the wet and it's interesting to hear Jason say then previously that the uh, he was riding I presume it was New Year's Eve where we had uh, like a sleety snow slush thing came down quite quickly in Cornwall and it completely covered the county and he was already out on the bike when it happened and for him to say he was confident to ride in it there was grip there and everything you know you, you go wow that's that's pretty cool because I was riding at the same time on the Roadmasters and felt that they were very good uh, so this is quite reassuring so the roads as you can see are a bit well they're dry but they've got a bit of moisture on them and that moisture in places where there's no sunshine at the moment is still a bit slippy I'll just take it steady now I've done a bit of research on these tyres, the mutants and everybody's saying that they warm up quite quickly I always think that's quite funny, you know, like I used to get my tyres up to temperature you know, the average Joe public rider like myself you know, <laughs> I couldn't tell you whether my tyres were up to temperature or not but, um, you know, these apparently warm up quite quickly and that obviously increases the stickiness of the tread because it get, gets warm, the rubber gets warm which is a good thing, methinks so I'm going to try and put this to some wiggly roads in a minute I just need to get out to them first but uh, the reviews so far of the Mutant are very good now if you look at the actual tread pattern I'm sure Toby will put a picture up of it of a you know the the tread pattern of the bike it's um, you can see how when it's going along in particularly in wet weather bearing in mind it was, it was developed from a wet weather racing tire you can see how the shape of the tread squirts the water out as the bike's driving along if you want and that's how that's that's what it's all about, it's about dispersing the water from the from the uh, f from the tyre uh, which allows a contact patch to stay on, on the uh, on the road itself this has got a lot more tread pattern in it than a normal motorcycle bike uh, tyre that you typically see on, on, on touring bikes and that's obviously good for getting rid of rainwater now to see how this performs up here a little bit so this is a road that rides from Gunavon in Cornwall back to Perrinporth it's a very bumpy road I'm riding in the slippiest part of the road as you can see that where the cars typically ride because obviously there's the least amount of grip there for this review I need to know what it feels like and you know, I've, I've ridden bikes with lots of different tyres on and if you're riding in this position, in this kind of weather you would be a little bit apprehensive perhaps if you didn't understand what the tyre was trying to do so I'm very very happy with the way this tyre's performed on this kind of road at the moment I mean it's, we haven't even got down to the, all the mud and the garbage that's lying all over the road from the the, the tractors that are driving about but so this is a sharp left hand bend as you can see it's in the sunshine so it is dryish but I've got to go over the paint and you know when you ride over a bit of paint you get that little skit sometimes where the <coughs> excuse me the tire seems to lose a bit of grip well, I came through there 
just keeping a constant speed around the bend. Rock solid. So I really, really rate that. This is my Nemesis bend. It's a right hand bend downhill that tightens and then opens out again. These tyres are awesome. Absolutely awesome, I love them. So these tyres at the moment um, have had a, just over a thousand miles on them. They're in fantas fantastic condition considering the roads they've been ridden on and the, the conditions they've been riding on. And as I said previously, you know, we have so many different riders who ride these bikes. They're all advanced standard riders, um, but that doesn't mean they all ride the same with regards to acceleration, braking and all that kind of stuff. They all have, everybody rides differently. So we need tyres that are confidence inspiring for all the riders. We have had a few doubters about these tyres and whether we should have them or not but I also have a friend who rides for another blood biking group and they've got a set on theirs and he was saying that the feedback they're getting is quite it's very positive not quite positive very positive about the tyres initial scepticism because people don't like change but uh, it seems that <clears throat> they're very quickly coming round to the way of thinking that these tyres are okay. I will say something about these tyres, as you, when you get on them, there is, because there's a lot of tread pattern on there, it does, the ride does feel a little bit um, rumbly. There's no noise from the tyres that I'm aware of. But it did feel initially a little bit um, rumbly, like there was a lot of a lot of tread there. So, what are these tyres made for? What bikes are they made for? Apparently they're made for 370 different types of bikes. Now there lies my problem. Because I feel that my bike is the uh, 850 GSA, which is a 21 inch tyre. If these tyres, and I've only been riding this for a very short time now, if these tyres were made for my size to, uh, bike, I would buy them. You know, I really feel that Dunlop are letting themselves down a little bit. They're missing something there by not providing a 21-inch tyre. They do it up to, I think, 19, which will fit the GSA, the big 1200s, 1250s. But these little, uh, smaller bikes, the baby GSA, as Toby likes to call it, I really think they're missing a the scam there. And that's how much I like these tyres, so quickly. They are absolutely awe-inspiringly good. And I don't necessarily enthuse about something like that, like this, if I don't like it. And I'm certainly not going to say I like it if I don't. And if they're, if they're good, they're good. But these are brilliant. Now this place I'm coming to now is a series of little gnarly bends. There's always rubbish on the road, gravel and stuff. So I'll see how we perform through here. The road smarts I mentioned when I came through here had a little skip from the rear wheel. In the same place there, absolutely nothing. These are solid. Okay, so getting back to my rant about 21 inch tyres, Dunlop, please make some for my bike. I know you've got a lot of big range of um, trail bike tyres as you call them, but you know, I'd buy these because I don't do off-roading. Although these road tyres are, they're called like a crossover tyre, so you can use it on base, on small tracks, on, um, on tarmac obviously, you know, on all kinds of roads and a, a, a small amount of track, track work. Now, it's hard to put them on a track and say, oh, you know, what kind of, um, what they're going to be like and whether you're going to get any grip on them. So I have got a little track I can ride up here, if I can. I'm just 
Let's see if this is any good up here. Okay. I'm guessing these are the sort of tracks they're talking about if they're saying that you can ride them off a... Okay, there's lots of ice here. Whoa, lots of ice. I'm trying to stay off the little bits of tarmac that there are. It'll look a bit more impressive when I turn around at the end. Come back down. So, do you know, I wouldn't expect a tyre to fail in this kind of terrain anyway. But I would say there's perceptibly no difference in performance on this little bit of a, a track I've been on. And it's not really a track, is it? It's just a, a farm road. But I'm just going to attempt to try and turn around now, which will be interesting. Because these bikes aren't the lightest of bikes. <laughs> In fact, this is heavy as you like. So if I put it up on that and roll it back, here we go. Okay, so you can see the style of the road I've been on. This bit has got a little bit of rough tarmac on it. Do you know, there's no slippage. Braking is good. Braking is very good. I'm going to do that again in some gravel if I can find it. Okay, just a little bit further on here, there's gravel I can use. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant bacon, there's my neighbour. Let's give her a quick wave. You know, so there's a little bit of farm track riding. We're back on the tarmac again. Quite hard braking there on the uh, on the gravel. Tires coped with it perfectly, and that's because of the groove cuts, I suppose, picking up, you know, lots of traction there. So I'm very pleased. And deliberately finding all the grubby roads around the local area to ride on just to demonstrate how good these tyres are. So like I always say, tyres are really really subjective aren't they? Some people say oh, I'll never use those tyres, they're hideous. You know, I take mine off after 10 miles because they make too much noise. You know, to be honest, I don't think most of us understand how a tyre works properly anyway, but you know, I think I have a reasonable understanding. And if you want my honest, honest opinion, I'm now riding up the centre of this road, which is just full of mud and rubbish, and I'm doing, you can see I'm on the grass now. There we go, a little bit of a slide. That amazingly picked up so quickly. Okay, if that had been on uh, a normal bike tyre uh, with, you know, just standard tread, I think that would have probably gone over there. That was very exciting. So I'm just going to put it onto this road here now. You can still see the dampness of the road. Probably got a bit of mud on the tyres now, just to, to be a little bit careful to scrub it off. Comparing this road to other bikes I've ridden on and the grip you get off various tyres, I've got to say these are fantastic. Well done Dunlop, eh? And I'd like to say that when you make Dunlop, when I'm talking to Dunlop now, when you make your 21 inch tyre for my 
BMW 850GSA. I'll be the first to trial it for you. I'd be very happy to do that. Because I really do think you're missing the opportunity to sell tyres there, don't you? you know, to other types of bikes. I've seen in reviews that there are GSAs, 1200s, 1250s, there's KTMs, there's Triumphs have got them on. You know, there's a whole market there of people who would buy this tyre because they spend most of their time on the roads, driving tarmac, but they need nice grip and the stickiness of a good, a good road tyre. But occasionally they'll, do, <coughs> they'll be doing what I just did there then, going along horrible country lanes, where you don't necessarily need a road tyre, but you know a tyre with a bit of tread in it would be very well. I mean I've ridden the uh, Anarchy 3s and I really don't like them, I keep going on about them but <coughs> excuse me I really don't like them because I would never have ridden on a set of Anarchy 3s along that road I've just ridden on there now on my trail type bike if you want, the adventure bike let's call it that the fact that I felt comfort enough to do it on an RT 1200 I think says a lot for the standard of the tyre. So one thing we have to consider with these tyres then is do they have a grin factor? Well, yes they do. They really do. Okay, I've just taken this bike on some horrible roads. Give it a good old ride around some dirty country, Cornish country lanes and I'm smiling like an idiot here now. If you could see, if there was a mirror inside the helmet you'd see me smiling. The last little road was a fantastic bit of road, really thick mud in the middle of it. The back slid but recovered so quickly These just feel absolutely glued to the ground. So there is uh, a fine recommendation, I think. So, Dunlop. Get on and get those 21 inch tyres made, because I want them on my bike, and I'm sure other people, after listening to what other people have said about these tyres, will want them as well. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe because that's what we're all after anyway isn't it and Toby puts the bell up there for you to get alerts and things and uh, ride safe obviously and we'll see you in the next video which will be along at some point and uh, thanks very much, see you directly.